I didn't have much luck chasing girls when I was a kid. I know that's hard to believe, but one day I decided I'd have to outsmart the other guys. I would make the girls feel sorry for me. So I came up with a brilliant idea. I would have some kind of ailment. I would fake it, maybe an allergy. I told the most beautiful gal in third grade that I was lactose intolerant. She was horrified. No one knew what it meant in those days. I didn't even know what it meant, but it sounded bad. Clearly, I did not have much time to live. It worked. She felt so sorry for me that she invited me over after school for milk and cookies. I hope that made you grin a little bit. We all love to laugh, don't we? But some people don't want us to be, be laughing. I, I once asked famous preacher Chuck Swindoll what he takes the most flack for. You know what he said? Humor. He's not alone. I receive lots of mail and most people are very kind, but some are not happy with the thought of Christians laughing. I asked Chuck how he deals with it, and this is what he said. Some people want you to be as miserable as they are, and I'm not getting on that bus. Amen, Chuck. Maybe you've met sour people whose lemon-like faces are cemented in a downward scowl. Genetics did not help them, but chances are they are sampling the forbidden prune of worry. This is one of the leading joy suckers out there, worry. Be honest, do you ever worry? I do about potholes, cell phone radiation, oversleeping, getting frisked at airports. You say, don't worry, be happy. I say, are you crazy? There is so much to worry about nowadays. Take email, please take it. I have had enough of it. Here's information I've found in my, e in my inbox, in email re recently, just alerting me to emergencies I had no idea I needed to worry about. Don't lick bank envelopes, that's one of them. You're gonna die. Cold water causes cancer, according to this email. Go to sleep at a party and you could wake up without a kidney. Go to shop at a mall and you may be drugged with a perfume sample. Never ever pick up a $5 bill in a parking lot. Someone is lurking beneath your car to grab your leg. We all know that worry is like a porch swing. It gives us something to do but never takes us anywhere. Still, we worry about money, the kids, our mother-in-law. I worry that the guy who invented rap music is out there working on something new. If chronic worry is ulcerizing your kidneys, the cure is 30 seconds away. Listen carefully. This truth has the power to change your life. It comes from God's word, Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good will come and settle you down. Each time worry arrives, Show it through the door of prayer. Because the more we pray, the less we panic. You say, Phil, worry runs in my family. It's in the genes. If I don't do it, who is going to? Plenty of people will. You don't worry. You're not gonna. Each morning, wake up right. Say a prayer of thanks for God's mercy, for God's faithfulness. Throughout the day, feed your mind on things that are honorable, pure, lovely, and of good report. You'll seldom find them on television. Set your default to rejoicing at every opportunity. Your life will be transformed, guaranteed. You'll find that the God who has shown up for saints throughout history is trustworthy. He is not about to abandon you. And at night, turn things over to God and sleep. Let him deal with it. He'll be up all night anyway. Remember that God gave us today. Tomorrow is none of our beeswax. If I'm squinting fearfully into a foggy future, I'm just going to hurt my eyes. And when my eyes are strained, I can't see what God requires of me right now, today. So rejoice, relax, and reflect on God's goodness. Hang out with positive people. Read a good book, one of mine. Loosen your tie. Hug a friend's chihuahua. Share a joke. Enjoy our Laugh Again radio program at laughagain.ca. Oh, and read emails sometimes. One just arrived that informed me of something that's going to fix all my worries. Bill Gates is sending me $1 million.